In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to find research gap. This is also called problem statement. So in today's video, I will be talking about perovskite solar cell. Is perovskite solar cell is one of the hot research area in these days, right? So basically, let's see what is the basic structure of perovskite solar cell. So we can see that perovskite solar cell has two electrodes. This is the counter electrode and this is the working electrode, right? These are just the contacts, right? It just collect the whole generated charges and electron generated charges, right? This is the whole transport medium and this is the electron transport medium. This is called perovskite. So why I show this structure? Because I just want to show you that how you can find the gap. So now you need to read the literature for this electrode and you need to see the literature for this electrode. If you can see that there is some gaps, there is some issues and you can improve the property of this material. So this is a gap, there is a gap, right? But we will just skip these two because these two are not that important. Let's see the perovskite one. Because the perovskite is the heart of this device because it captures solar light. Now we need a material which capture as much as solar light. So people are doing research. So we need to read the literature regarding this and find where is the gap, right? Now the next thing is the whole transport medium. We need a material to quickly transport the whole to the uh, electrode here, this electrode. And look at this one, electron transport medium. We need a material to quickly transport the generated charge from this perovskite. So there are so much potentials in these layers, in these materials, so that we can improve the performance of perovskite solar cell. Let's further uh, see here that what we need here. Look what is basically the need here. The need is a material that absorbs photons. Very simple problem. A material that uh, absorbs photons. This is the need basically. For example, if you have a material uh, uh, in perovskite, this is a large group uh, which absorb almost 60% uh, uh, of the solar light. Let's suppose, right? 60%. So this means that we are losing 40%. So when we are losing 40%, now we need a material to absorb almost 70%. So this is a gap. The gap is basically the problem, the problem, what is the problem? The problem is we are losing 40% solar light. I just suppose we are just losing 40% of solar light. Solar light is free and we want to utilize this 100%. This is a problem. So this means that you can work in this area very easily and you can find the problem. You see here, just for this information. And secondly, you see the semiconductor with high electron mobility here. Look this mobility. This mobility means that how fast these layers uh, take the electron and hold from this perovskite because when the light shine on this material, electron and hole created here. So this layer is collecting electron and this layer is collecting hole. So we need a semiconductor. These both are semiconductor which is uh, have high electron mobility. So now we need to read the literature that what kind of material are uh, we using here. And uh, let's see that, for example, if we generate 100 pairs here, whether 100 hole we are collecting here and 100 electron we are collecting here, or we, whether we are losing some electron or some hole here. And that process we call recombinations, right? So we need a material which have less defects. So this is a, there is also a problem now. You see here, we need a material which have less defects, which, which, which will, we, will lose less number of holes and less number of electrons. So this is another problem, another issue, right? So we need to see the literature. Uh, let us quickly see here the, the three parts is uh, there in uh, photovoltaics or solar cell. One is the photon, photon absorber, this, this one, the perovskite one. Okay, basically, this is basically converting incident light into photons to electron and holes. You see, the photon convert uh, 
uh, incident light into electron in four holes. This is basically the heart of the solar cell, this part. So the heart is the solar cell. This means that uh, there is a huge potential of research here. So we need to have a material which absorbs more light and produce more whole electron. Very simple problem. Another is the electron in hole carriers, the one I explained, which capturing the uh, hole in the electron. And we, as we explained that we need high electron mobility. We need a material which have less defects. This is another issue and we can work here and we can solve uh, the problem a little bit, right? And as I explained the metal context also. So we see that uh, the metal context are at the top of the bottom, which transfer the carrier's whole electron to the external circuits, right? So for example, we are using gold. So gold, gold, you see here, we are using gold. Gold are very expensive. So we can replace this also, right? And this material should be uh, transparent also to allow the light, right? So this was basically how we find uh, uh, the uh, problem statement or result gap uh, in any kind of uh, field. This was just I explained about the perovskite solar cell. Uh, you can give me another thing, catalysis or sensors and I will explain to you that there are so many problems. You have so many problems here. As I explained that uh, this perovskite is not a single material, it is a, it is a family. So people using a lot of perovskite uh, and uh, it's, it's the people changing uh, stoichiometries. People changing, uh, basically the perovskite is uh, methyl ammonium lead halide, trihalide. So M is methyl ammonium and PB, people replace PB, there is a problem, PB. And this is lead triiodide. So triiodide, this means that uh, people replace this iodine with chlorine, with bromine. And people sometimes use both bromine and chlorine in iodine. And people replace this methyl ammonium with cesium. This also people replace. You see here, people replace this lead with SN, 10, germanium, uh, antimony, bismuth, those kind of stuff. So I mean that there is a huge potential to find a research gap. And where you will find research gap? Not from videos. Just go and download papers related to perovskite solar cell and just read the abstract and introduction. So you will see that where is the gap. If you have any problem, just ask me uh, uh, in the comment and I will tell you that how to find a research gap from a single paper. Give me a single paper, research paper, I will find the gap for you and just start writing research proposal and just take admission in your PhD and just work on that. Okay, thanks for watching.